Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Brent Allen. Uh, Converged Infrastructure has been around for quite a while now, and Virtual System is, is kind of one of the key foundations in, in the Converged Infrastructure. Uh, how does that how does that fit in and kind of kind of lay the groundwork for everything? Yeah, well, um, you know, as part of the portfolio offering around really delivering converged infrastructure, not just uh, the concept and the idea that HP's been putting forth for a while. Uh, you know, a little over two years ago, we launched Virtual System. A virtual System um, is a combination of server storage, networking, all from HP, optimized for virtualization with our virtualization partners like Microsoft and VMware. Um, where it fits in as well is that it's also an easy upgrade path to the cloud, whether that's um, HP Cloud System, or whether that's if you're setting up a, a VMware vCloud or a Microsoft Cloud, you know, all of those things. So it's it's the foundational building blocks. Um, and so, you know, I guess one of the other things to kind of uh, note there is, as I say foundation, we're also now offering a foundation version a uh, virtual system, and so it's really um, the virtual system construct without the forced choice of a hypervisor on top of that stack. So you can get the infrastructure build up and then do things like, uh, you know, Linux virtualization with KVM or you know, uh, Red Hat Enterprise Vert and things like that. So if the foundation doesn't actually require a, a, um, a Hyper-V uh, as kind of the foundation, does that mean you could even go bare metal? Well, absolutely. Um, so there are a lot of applications that are still optimized better to a physical uh, bare metal uh, deployment. There are still customers that want certain pieces of their data center on bare metal. Um, and so you can absolutely do that. So we really kind of take things at a three-tiered approach. We have um, you know physical uh, that you can do with the foundation uh, block. Um, virtualized, uh, which is sort of the next level up, and then up to cloud. So it, that's kind of the way we tend to think about things from an infrastructure perspective, and there's also kind of looking at it from the application perspective around optimizing that infrastructure you know, that's underlying. So. And you can manage that uh, across the board, so if you have things that are bare metal and you have things that are cloud and, and everything in between, you can manage that um, from from bare metal all the way to the cloud. That, that's right. Um, that's one of the nice things uh, about this as well. Um, really standardizing on these, um, you know, core uh, blocks of infrastructure, if you will, um, is the way that we have the infrastructure management set up. It, it is a um, you know, seamless across that spectrum, right? And so you can bring in things like um, cloud system matrix if you want to do that, and you can add that into your, your management profile. You can use some of the partner tools, but at the um, the heart of that is um, our, uh, uh, our systems uh, management that's um, the insight control environment that has all of those pieces plugged into it and kind of sucks all that information out. And you just made a big announcement around uh, Virtual System 3 uh, yesterday, I believe. Yep. And what can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, huge uh, for us. Um, it's a, the Virtual System VS3 2.2 release. So we've standardized on uh, the what what we call the VS3 construct. Uh, that's the um, combination of blades and 3PAR. Uh, with, of course, HP networking and, and management pieces uh, across that board. And we've got optimized versions uh, for Microsoft and VMware, and then we have the foundation uh, that I just mentioned uh, as part of that uh, updated portfolio. A um, lot of different things that we've updated there. Uh, we have, we've been able to consolidate down to a single rack with 3PAR and Blades uh, for a cost-optimized um, view. Just you know, a couple of servers, four servers to start with, um, and a couple of shelves of storage. So a pretty tight-knit package that can grow up into a very, very large multi-rack environment. Um, the other thing with that uh, is that we also have introduced the flat sand concept as an option into uh, that structure. Uh, so that's another place where you can optimize, um, you know, both from a latency perspective as well as from a cost perspective when you're looking at networking. So a lot, a lot of new options making their way in. And when you're talking about integrating with 3PAR, um, is that uh, as far down the, the spectrum as the 7000 7, series and then all the way up to the, the full rack solutions? Yeah, that's that's absolutely right. So we start with the, the StoreServe 7200, and um, you literally have the option of using anything across that three-part line all the way up um, to the 10,800, right? So the, the big, big array, right, and, as part of that package. And so one of the nice things there as well is that it's all standardized across a um, consistent storage architecture. So you can you know grow and mix and match inside of that framework and still be very, very consistent across how you're managing it and how you're using it those arrays uh, as part of the overall infrastructure. So. Nice. That sounds, uh, that sounds very flexible. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, Brent. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate it.